Hello, everyone. Welcome to Jobs in Computer Science. We are so excited to talk to you today and let you know a little bit more about what it looks like at a startup and what it looks like at Seesaw, something that you are probably really familiar with. Maybe you even use it in your classroom. I'm Angela, and I lead the community team here at Seesaw. And basically what that means is I work with teachers all over the world, and I help them get started with Seesaw, and maybe I even work with your teacher too to give ideas and, and kind of just share some, some connections. But I was a kindergarten teacher for 15 years, so special wave to all my kindergarten friends out there that are watching. We are so excited to have you here today. And we are going to talk about a couple different things. We're going to see what it looks like at Seesaw. You're going to get to learn about different jobs that people have at Seesaw. And you're going to use, not use, you're going to learn. Look at me. I'm so excited. I'm talking so fast. You're going to learn some words that engineers use every day when they're working at Seesaw. And then at the very end, we are going to take some time to answer your questions. So be thinking what questions might you want us to answer at the end. So now we're getting, I'm getting excited because you're gonna get to meet some members of the Seesaw team. Some are sitting right next to me right here. And this is Eric, Eric say hi, tell us a little bit about you. Hi everyone. Um, so I'm a software engineer at Seesaw, and um, basically I work on the iPhone and iPad uh, versions of Seesaw. So if you're using that in the classroom, I've probably worked on it. And uh, pretty much my day looks like I, I get to work, I uh, sit on the computer and basically try to make um, uh, new features for the, the uh, apps and also uh, work on any um, problems that are arising on the app. Yeah, so he can fix he can fix all sorts of problems too. And then we have Aria. Say hi. Hi everyone. Um, I'm also a software engineer, so I work on making Seesaw on laptops. So if you're using Seesaw on a laptop, I help make that work on there. Um, I used to be a college teacher, which is uh, a later school you might go to in the future. Um, but I have some teaching experience, and I really love it. I also love cats. I have a really cute cat at home who I adore. <laughs> um, my day is probably about half and half uh, doing some stuff on the computer of making Seesaw and figuring out what shapes go where and what buttons go where, and, and half talking to people and figuring out what we're doing and how we're doing and how everyone else on the team is working and making sure that, that everyone is able to do the stuff they're doing on and be happy. Lots of, lots of teamwork here. And then we have some other friends that are, that are still at Seesaw. They're just in another room because we couldn't all fit in one spot. So. Hi, Nikita. Hi, everyone. Uh, so I'm Nikita. Uh, like Eric and Aria, I'm also a software engineer. Uh, I primarily work on the Android app. So Eric was on iPhone, Aria was on laptops, and I work on Android. Um, so my day consists of pretty much the same thing as Eric and Aria's. Definitely love to hang out with my Seesaw team and go to meetings, and then also make the product that you guys use in your classroom better and better every day. And Meryl, say hello. Hi everyone, I'm Meryl. I lead our marketing team here at Seesaw, and that means that I help people and teachers and parents, et cetera, find out more about Seesaw and how they can use it. Sometimes that means I send people emails uh, or I write them letters. Sometimes we send them stuff in the mail, like t-shirts, um, and really just try to help people get the most out of Seesaw uh, in their classroom. Thanks, Meryl. So many great people working here. Now, I want to give you a sneak peek inside Seesaw headquarters. So where, where we spend our day, it's kind of fun to get to look behind the scenes. So Seesaw headquarters is in San Francisco, and I normally work in Minnesota. So you can see that on the map, too. So I'm kind of far away. Um, but I'm here visiting this week because I wanted to be here for um, the webinars. And when you go into Seesaw, this is the first thing you'll see. We have a little sign and then you walk in and you're going to see all kinds of people working at their desks. So you might have desks in your classroom or tables. That's just like Seesaw. We're kind of one big, huge classroom. And we don't people don't have their own offices at Seesaw because we spend a lot of time working together. But I also wanted to show you this picture. You'll see Meryl in the picture. But do you notice that we have backpacks or school bags that we bring to work too? So that might, you might have a connection with that as well as you're bringing your work um, to school too. This is our lunchroom and we actually call it the playground. And this is where we would eat our lunch. This is also where we have 
big meetings with everyone in the company. So you might have a connection there too, because I'm sure you have a special spot to eat in your school too. And then the other thing I wanted to show you is actually where we're sitting right now. We're sitting in some of these conference rooms. And that's just a spot where you can go to have meetings with other people and do lots of talking and planning while other people can still do their work out in Seesaw kind of at their desk. So we're, I think right now we're in the one that's called Hopscotch. And Meryl and Nikita are in the room called Capture the Flag. So all of our rooms actually have fun names, like things you would do on the playground, which makes sense with Seesaw, right? So, oh, this one is our kitchen, our little snack area, because I'm sure at school you might have a snack or you might need to just make sure your brain is still awake and ready to work and learn. So at Seesaw, we have a spot where, where we can get um, snacks to make sure we're energized and ready to continue on our day too, just like you. Um, we're gonna look at some jobs at Seesaw. So here we go. So we have the co-founders of Seesaw, and this is Carl and Adrian, and they were the guys who thought of the idea of Seesaw. So they're kind of like the bosses of Seesaw, really. And then we have software engineers. Yeah, so this is a team of uh, software engineers that work on different parts of Seesaw to make sure that it can be used all over the world in classrooms and uh, everyone can uh, post their work. Lots of coding, right? Yeah, lots, lots of, of code. coding. This is the product team, and the product team works to figure out what features are we going to add to Seesaw, what changes are we going to make. So if you see something new uh, this year or next year, that's an idea that the product team came up with. And then we have the operations team. And I just want to let you know that's not like a doctor giving an operation. This is a team of teachers that help uh, a team of um, people at Seesaw that help teacher an teachers answer their questions. They also make sure everything kind of works okay at Seesaw. So if someone's celebrating a birthday or if we need to order supplies or all sorts of jobs, this, this team handles that. Yes, and so we talked a little bit about the marketing team. These are some of the folks on our team, and we help people um, get the most out of Seesaw, understand how to use it. We might send them emails or, um, you know, uh, letters in the mail, and we just have a lot of fun working with our teacher partners. Um, this is more of our team, and they are more focused on our community aspect. So they're fo focused on really building relationships with teachers, um, connecting with them online about the things that they're using Seesaw to do in the classroom. And this is our partnerships team. This team of folks talks to folks like your principal or uh, the superintendent in your district um, to help them understand how they could set Seesaw up um, in all the classrooms in your school. So do you see that there are a lot of people that work at Seesaw? So we use teamwork every single day here. So in your classroom, I bet today you're going to work together somehow. And that's exactly, you're already building some of the skills that you need for a job that you'll have maybe when you grow up. So keep working on that teamwork because we use it every single day at Seesaw. We're going to talk a little bit about some fancy engineering words that, you know, Eric and Nikita and Aria use every day. And the first one is code. Yeah, so code is a language that we use to talk to computers. So if any of you speak a different language at home, maybe Spanish or Chinese, um, possibly to your parents, code is the language we use to talk to computers so that computers understand us. So it's sort of like giving commands to, to your dog, except that your dog has a limited vo a limited set of words. <laughs> it can understand, like, sit, but it doesn't right. understand, go get me the paper. Right. So similarly, we tell computers uh, small commands to, to let it know how to make Seesaw. So it kind of looks like a lot of jumbled letters, doesn't it? It does. It does, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, so a bug, and these aren't the bugs that you see outside or sometimes even <laughs> inside. Um, this is basically when um, the computer code isn't telling the computer exactly what we want it to do. So it's not behaving how it should and it's doing something wrong. Yeah, so we have to fix it. Yeah. So our engineers definitely. spent a lot of time fixing some bugs. And Nikita, what's this big word? So a crash. Uh, is almost as scary as a real crash in real life. It's when a bug gets so, so bad that the app gets totally confused and doesn't know what to do and shuts off. 
So this is the worst kind of bug uh, written by some very uh, sad code that sometimes can make this happen where your app will break and it doesn't know what to do, so it totally stops working. And we never want that to happen at Seesaw. So we make sure that we write really, really good code. So we're just going to go really quickly and say what we like to do when we were little. Because I know a lot of you out there, maybe you're thinking, oh my goodness, what did they like to do? So when I was little, about your age, I loved to do art and creating with all sorts of art projects. What about you, Aria? Uh, I love to play with wooden trains. I just was fascinated with them. And they were a lot of fun to put together and hook up. What about you, Eric? Uh, I love to play with Legos, so making different things. That's a good one. How about you, Meryl? I loved to dance, and I actually still love to dance. Any kind of dance. Ballet, jazz, hip-hop, I loved it all. Uh, when I was little, I really liked to play with puzzles and games as well, so I did a lot of that. Wonderful. Well, now what we're going to do is take <clears throat> some questions from you, the students. So I am going to play a little music for maybe about 30 seconds so that you have enough time to talk to your teacher to say what kind of question you would like to ask us. So make sure your teacher writes in the grade level that you are in and also where you live. And then we'll answer a few questions before we have to go. Here we go. All right, so I gave you a little bit of time and we have just a few minutes to go into some questions. I keep I keep kind of checking my timer because I know you have a busy day that you're going to in, enjoy at school. So the first question comes from Mr. Love's second grade class in Michigan. And he says, how do we get prepared for jobs that don't even exist yet? So I don't know, Aria, do you have any advice? What yeah, would you that's say? That's a really good question. That's hard. We're trying to figure out things that aren't here yet. Yeah. Um, but the things that are common to most jobs are you're going to be working closely with people, and you're going to have to be developing your problem-solving skills. Yes. So really focus on learning how to work well with others and learning how to solve problems. So some of your math and science classes will get involved there. Good, great. Great answer. Thanks for asking that. Then we have Ms. England's class, and they're wondering what happens after a crash. Nikita, you talked about a crash. Can you say what would happen after a crash? Yeah, that's a great question. So we hear about the crash in a number of ways. Sometimes we find it ourselves. Sometimes you guys write into us and let us know that there's a crash. And then the engineering team gets together and works really hard as fast as possible to figure out what made that crash happen. What kind of code did we write that the computer got confused about? And once we figure that out, we try to unconfuse the computer with some better code, and we resolve that crash and hopefully make a new update for the app so it doesn't crash anymore. Thank you. So we have Ms. Garris's class that wants to know, what do I have to do if I want to be a software engineer like you, Eric? Hmm, that's a good question. Um, I would say it's never too young to start uh, preparing to be a software engineer. So like Arya mentioned, problem solving skills are super important. And I would say like you can even uh, get started uh, coding. There's a lot of resources out there. Um, and I'm not too sure if we put some out there, but. Um, yeah, and so on our website, the CSOC Coder site where your teacher signed up for this, there's some great things there. So check that out. I want to give a couple shout outs. We've got so many classes here today and we can't answer everybody's question. And I'm going to just say a couple names that I know are out there. So we have Miss Robinson's class, Miss Huff's class, Miss Eglitz class, Miss Emery's class, Miss Alex's class. We have Miss Stokes, Miss Love, Mr. Hernandez. We've got all sorts of people joining in today. We have Miss Hutchins class, uh, Miss Robinson, Miss Bowens, all sorts of classes. So we are so thankful that you came today. And I know there's a lot more that we couldn't even give shout outs to today, but 
We're so glad that you can join us. And we have something special for you to try. And it's creating a new Seesaw Class icon. So this is actually kind of a contest where you can get this activity from your teacher. It's inside Seesaw. So your teacher can find it in the activity library. And it gives you a chance to draw and design a class icon. Then we're going to choose some of the best designs to inspire our next real class icon that you'll see in Seesaw. So I hope your teacher will share this with you so you can kind of have a chance to give some designing a try on your own. So you'll find that right inside Seesaw. So take a peek there. And we want to say thank you so much for coming today. We are excited to share and learn with you. And we can't wait to see what you create this week during Computer Science Education Week. Yeah. Thanks, everyone.